guys, it's Lisa from New Portrait Biz. Um, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about making your own unique props for your studio. Um, I really feel that if you can offer your clients unique props and backgrounds, um, they're going to want to come to you. I know when we first started our business, um, what I did is I would go and I would scour garage sales, flea markets, marshals, TJ Maxx, um, Salvation Army. I would go anywhere that I could find a prop. Um, and I really feel that because of that, it really kickstarted our business. Um, within a few months, our phone was ringing off the hook. People would bring their proofs in to their office, uh, to their family members, and once they started sharing them, everybody wanted to come. They wanted to know who we were and our number and um, they just wanted to set up an appointment. So I really feel like if you can be creative and come up with your own unique ideas um, and props that it's really going to do the same for your business. So today I just wanted to share with you um, one of my latest props that I uh, created. I just wanted to show you how I made it, the components, um, and so let's get started. Okay, so this is what I call our Rockabye Baby Prop. I was uh, walking uh, through Marshalls one day and I happened to see this on the shelf and um, I just thought it was adorable. It just reminds me of a little baby bird's nest and uh, I just thought um, a little baby or an infant would look so sweet in this. So anyways, I grabbed this. This was uh, $19.99 and um, then I thought, well, if I wanted to uh, dress it up for a little girl, make it look a little, little more feminine, um, I would uh, have to add a little floral piece. So I ran over to Michael's and I grabbed this uh, garland. Um, this uh, has um, little berries and little uh, silk roses on it, and I just thought it was really sweet. So you can just put this on like so. For a boy, though, I probably wouldn't use that. I would just leave it plain. Um, and then I would also put a little blanket in here uh, so the baby can sit in it. Um, if it's an infant or a newborn, uh, I would put some foam, some padding in the, in the bottom and a blanket and then maybe have them laying on their tummy. And so you see their little bottom sticking up. I just think that would be adorable. Um, and if you want to take this to, uh, to the next level, and you may want to hang it like a swing. Um, but that's what I decided to do. So I, again, ran to Michael's and I found this birch tree branch. Um, it was winter time when I decided to do this. I think it was like end of February and it was snowing here. So I didn't feel like trekking out in the woods and cutting a limb myself. So Michael's had this, this was $14.99. Uh, they did think I was a little strange going through the line. She kind of looked at me like, you're buying this? And uh, anyways, but it worked great. So um, then you're going to want to get some uh, rope, some heavier rope. You can attach it on here. And obviously you want to make it, uh, get it so it's strong enough to hold the baby. And if you want to have it look a little more feminine, if this is for a girl, what I did was I ran over to Walmart. I found this ribbon. And this is, uh, it's like a rosette ribbon. And I just think this, again, adds such a sweet feminine touch for a little girl. And uh, you can just put this over the rope. Okay, it's not strong enough to hold on its own, but it can kind of camouflage the rope. And uh, I just think it's really sweet. So hopefully this has inspired you and uh, you can uh, head out to the stores and start looking for your own unique props uh, that you can wow your clients with. I hope you enjoyed today's video on creating your own unique props for your studio. If you'd like to see more videos like this, head over to newportraitbiz.com. Thanks for watching.